Let's take a look at one of these classic conservation of charge problems. Two objects have charges as shown here. And we're going to connect them with a wire and we're going to figure out what the charge is on each of them when it comes to equilibrium. I should tell you that both spheres are identical and they're both conductors and that's important just so that charge can flow easily. If we connect them with a wire, charges are going to flow. And remember, there's only one kind of charge that moves around in any material, and that is the electrons. And the negative charged object means it has an excess number of electrons. The positive means that it has a deficit of electrons. So electrons are going to move that way. Sure. And we're trying to figure out what the charge is going to be on each of those objects at equilibrium. So let's use the conservation of charge. How much total charge is there in the beginning? Plus 3 minus 7 gives us a total charge of negative 4 coulombs. Coulomb is just a unit of measurement for charge. So how much charge does there have to be when they reach equilibrium? If you're thinking negative 4 coulombs, you're right. And since the two objects are identical in every way, you're going to wind up with equal charges on each one. It's that simple. Hey, here's a little bonus question for you. How much charge is transferred? Push pause and think about it, and then I'll tell you the answer. Five coulombs, you got it.